I'm Amy Ellis and this is So Modern Quilts. My goal with this channel is to inspire and educate quilters and aspiring quilters with tips and tricks at the sewing machine from my years of experience. I've decided that this summer is going to be the summer of improv and in doing so creating a small project that isn't overwhelming so that you can explore and have fun with improv. If you've tried improv before, maybe you had the same experience that I did when I started and it was a little overwhelming. There was a lot of options. The, <laughs> the options were limitless and for me that was kind of, it, well it was a lot overwhelming and it, it just caused me to revert back to what I know I could do, know what I was good at because it was comfortable and fun for me at the time. So since then, I've explored improv quite a bit and really enjoy the process, but it does take some parameters, some guidelines, and a little bit of um, letting go of the process. So <laughs> we're going to make a table runner together. Well, at least I'm planning to make a table runner. I want you guys to think small, not too big, not too overwhelming, um, but also a little bit bigger than a mini quilt because I want to piece uh, multiple elements and include them in the same project. Over the next couple of months, I will have a new video each week with uh, an assignment or a uh, a little bit of instruction, not not necessarily assignment because I don't want it to be too <laughs> rigid for you, but uh, some guidance as to where to go and what to sew with our exploration into improv so that you can have fun because with all the options, it just feels overwhelming and it makes me kind of curl up in a ball. <laughs> so we don't want that. We want you to have fun with it. And I want you to really just kind of enjoy the process of improv without all that overwhelm. I really hope you can join me in this process of improv without any judgment or negativity, especially about yourself. Uh, this process is new. Everyone will have different experiences and having grace for yourself really um, keeps it fun and light and not uh, over the top um, with frustrations. In improv, there's no right or wrong way to create, so I hope that you'll just relax and enjoy the process and really have fun with it. Whether you're joining me right now in the process of this live or if you're somewhere in the future watching all the replays, I would love to know if you've attempted to sew in improv and have any frustrations or uh, hurdles, challenges that um, have caused you to rethink things. I would love to know what those are so that I can address them in the, the videos as we go along. So share your thoughts on, on improv below in the comments. And then in the meantime, check out a couple of these other videos that I have linked up here. Um, if you're not already subscribed, you can subscribe and hit notifications so that you get all of the new notifications when I post a new video. And um, if all else fails, I also have a link to sign up for email down below. And I would love to, to connect with you in your inbox um, weekly so that we can stay connected and I'll be in touch with each new video. I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you are. And I look forward to stitching with you real soon.